Jackpot GLRs. I'm at the uh, school field I've been at. I'm, Aluminum Abbey couldn't come out with us today. She had some soccer she had to do. But uh, I'm out here. And I'm on the Wheat Penny Trail. She got my first Wheat Penny today. I'm not sure the date. I'll show you guys when I get home. Let's keep it going, though. Second Wheat Penny of the day. Not sure the date I'll show you guys when we get home. Let's keep it going. Third wheat penny of the day. Hopefully it'll lead us into some silver. Let's see if we can find some more. A few steps later, my fourth wheat penny of the day. Let's keep on going. Fifth wheat cent of the day. I'll clean it off and show you guys when I get home. Let's keep it going. Right next to it, she got my sixth wee penny of the day. Show you guys the date when I get home. Still at the school, I just hopped out of the uh, softball field. I was about to head into the soccer field. And I, uh, I just kept the silver streak going for four days. It's not a coin though. I found, if you guys can see where it says 925, somewhere on here. might be there but it says 925 right there if you can see it it's like some sort of weird necklace let me try to show you guys that's pretty cool and then I used a pin pointer and found this little piece also in the hole that's probably how they lost it that's pretty cool a four day silver streak let's see if we can find some more nice Just got a really interesting find. It's like a metallic pencil. It looks like and it looks like it's like gold plated or something. And then look at the uh, where the eraser would be. It's holding a stone. It's got a setting in the stone. That's really weird. But that's pretty cool. I'll go home, clean it off, see if it says anything. Let's see if we can find some more. Here's an interesting relic find. It's an old buckle. It's a pretty nice brass buckle. Nice. Let's see if we can find some more. These are the finds all cleaned up. I got, I didn't get this on camera, but it's an old reins guide or gag swivel used for horseback riding when that was the main way of traveling back in the day before cars. And that's a cool relic. I knew at the time, but I forgot the name and I wasn't sure, so I didn't get it on camera. But that's a cool relic. There's a lot of old things in that field, like this old buckle, this old brass buckle. And uh, the other day when I brought Aluminum Abbey out, actually a third detectors came out. And he was saying how it used to be an old farm field, and he's been detecting there for more than 20 years. But he hadn't found any silver coins. I told him I found a couple. He was pleasantly surprised. You just got to follow the, uh, he said it was a lot of fill dirt, which a lot of it is fill dirt, but there's spots that um, it's still the original soil or not, or just a little bit of fill dirt. So you can still get a lot of the original stuff. You just got to follow the wheat penny path and that'll lead you to silver and some older stuff. And uh, that's what I do in that field and, and a lot of fields and it works great for me. And, and, and listen to the whisper signals, that's very important. I just dig a lot of just random whisper signals, and the and as you dig them, the signals become more clear, and they turn out to be old, really good core, really good things. But uh, anyway, uh, I also I got two sixty three in clad. That's not that's not too bad. I got this really cool pencil. It's got like this is I think really cool. It's got that like gemstone and like the setting in the back. And it looks like it's like gold plated, but it definitely is a pencil. And I think it's sick, honestly. It's a really cool find. Then I got this dog tag from a neighboring town. Don't call the number. <laughs> Scamp. I got seven wheat pennies. I must have thought one was a memorial and just threw it in my pocket. But I got a 1952 
None of them were really like too old, so I didn't really clean them off too much. They're all in the 50s. Another 1952. A 1953, another 1953, a 1955, and a toast, 19, oh, this is the 1958, the 1958 one was toast, and then a 1956. Seven wheat pennies, that's pretty cool. But then the find of the day, to keep the silver streak going to four days, this 925 silver necklace, it weighs 4.1 grams. You could see where it, I put the hook back on, you could see where it probably snapped off right there. That's how they lost it. But it says 925 on, on one of these little flower pieces down here. I don't know if you could see that, but that's the stamp right there. So it says 925. There's two little marks. I'm not sure what, the, what one of them is, but the other one is 925. And uh, this part would be like the little pendant piece, even though it's not really pendant. And and this piece, they like slide through here. These pieces could like move in and out. Did you see that? But only this one really moves. This one's like stuck right here. But um. It's a 925 silver chain, a really thin silver chain. But that's pretty cool. I think it's a really cool little necklace with 4.1 grams of silver. That's awesome. The find of the day. Gotta love silver in any sort of in any sort of type. Coins, jewelry, anything, any sort of relics. I just love silver. But uh anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.